안녕 친구들. 안녕 우리 친구들. Hello 우리 friends and happy new year. But wait a minute. Didn't we already celebrate new year? That's right folks. We did the countdown. 5 4 3 2 1 Happy New Year. We did do that already, didn't we? But there are many countries and cultures out there, including Korean culture, that celebrate Lunar New Year. Lunar New Year is what we're here to celebrate today. Me and Yeon Yeon here. 안녕 친구들. 새해 복 많이 받으세요. <laughs> That's right, Yeon Yeon. Today we are here to celebrate a very special holiday called Lunar New Year. And in Korean, that's Seollal. And today is very, very special because in Korea, like many parts of the world, like here in America, everyone is busy, rushing off, doing everything. And so people, families, don't get to, get, get to come together as much. So in Korea and some parts of America and other parts of the world, during Lunar New Year, we all come together families or friends from far away. Some people take airplanes and trains and cars. They come together and for Seollal, you get to celebrate it for three days. Not one, not two, but three days. And we get to do lots of fun things like wearing hanbok, beautiful traditional Korean clothes. You wear hanbok and then we do a big New Year's bow, which is called Sebe to our older people. And we get some Sebe Don to put in our little pockets. And we get to play fun, traditional Korean games like Yunnori, which is a stick game. You throw up in the air and it's lots of fun. So we get to play special games with our family. And of course, we get to eat delicious, Rice cake soup, tteokguk, that's right. So these are some traditional customs that we will be taking part of today. And I'm so happy that all of you, I know many of you have the day off from school, which is fun, but it's so wonderful that we can come together even though on, it's on the computer. It's so wonderful that we can all come together and celebrate Seollal together. So I am so happy that you can all be here today. So, did you guys know that this year is the year of the tiger? Roar! So the tiger is very special to Korean culture because it is the national animal of Korea. Did you know that? The Siberian tiger. So it's a very, very special animal. So I think this year is going to be extra special. So we get to have the fun year of the tiger. And if you were born this year, if you're a baby and you're not one years old yet, or you're 12 years old, or you're 24 years old, or 36 years old, this is your year. It's your year, it's the year of the tiger, and that means you're strong and you're proud, and sometimes you're a little bit stubborn. <laughs> Those are some qualities of the tiger if you're born in the year of the tiger. So I'm so excited to have this very special animal year. Like I said, this year is going to be extra special. So I would like to start us off by singing you, serenading all of our friends here today with a Seollal song. So this is a very traditional song. If you guys are Korean American and you have parents, grandparents, maybe great-grandparents, they all know this song. It's very old and it's very beautiful and I would like to sing it for you. So before I start, I'll show you a little bit, share a little bit of the lyrics. So gachi, which is a magpie, is a very special bird in Korea. It's a bird that we all love to see and it's a bird that you see sometimes in the very cold winter too. So it's a, it starts off saying, Kachi Kachi Solarun. So it's the Magpie's New Year was yesterday, but today is our New Year, the people's New Year. So it's a fun song, 
And also it talks about uh, getting new hanbok for New Year and putting new ribbons in your hair and getting new shoes because traditionally in Korea, you get new clothes on the New Year. So you get a fresh new hanbok because you're getting bigger and, and you're growing up so fast. So it's the time of year traditionally to get new hanbok. So this song is about that and it's about just celebrating the wonderful things that you do on Salat. So are you ready? If you know it, please sing along with me. <laughs> or your aunts or your uncles or friends of yours know that song, feel free to sing it all day long. I'm going to be walking around. And I'm going to be singing it all day today. Okay, everyone. So now that I've introduced you to a few of the concepts and I sang you our very special Salai song, I'm going to share a video with you. So like Helena said in the beginning of the video, I produce an educational television show for you <laughs> and your family members and all of your friends. The show is all about celebrating Korean culture. So Korean history, Korean food, K-pop, Korean films, everything. So anything about Korea, we like to share it with our friends through Uri Show. So last year, I made a very special Seolat episode, and I would like to play a little clip of that for you. It teaches you a little bit more about what Seolat is and how Koreans celebrate Lunar New Year. <laughs> I can help. My name is Shiot, and I know all about Solar, which is Korean Lunar New Year. It's a very, very special holiday when relatives take cars, trains, and planes to get together to celebrate the New Year. So Koreans all over the world get to ring in the New Year not once, but twice. On Seolal, there are some awesome things you get to do. Hanbok. You get to look amazing in your hanbok, a traditional Korean outfit worn on the most special of days. Sebe. 
It's a big, big bow to all of your older family members, blessing them in the new year. You say, 새해 복 많이 받으세요. 새해 복 많이 받으세요. And then you get 세뱃돈. Pocket money. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Dokguk. You get one year older by eating a bowl of delicious dokguk a traditional Korean rice cake soup. And you get to play lots of fun Korean folk games like Yunnori. Uri 친구들, 새해 복 많이 많이 받으세요. Wonderful! So Xion and all of our fuzzy friends told us all the different things you get to do on Salad. So I would like to practice with all of our friends at home our very special Sebe. It's very important that we do Sebe to our older people so we bless them in the new year. Make sure they get lots of blessings, okay? So what you say during Sebe is a little bit long and maybe hard for some of our friends to say, but I will try to teach it to you. Okay, Sehe means New Year. Pok means blessings. And Mani means lots. And Padiseo means to receive. So Sehe, Pok, Mani, Padiseo means I hope you receive many, many blessings in the new year. Okay, so that's what you say after we do our big sebe, okay? But if you can't memorize that, you can just say, I wish you lots of blessings. That's what you can also say after you sebe. Okay, so I'm gonna need all of our friends at home to get up. Let's stand up together. And I will try to make sure that I stay in frame. Whoop, my humble is getting caught. Okay, so what we do, is you stand all the way up and I'll just kneel so that you guys can see me, okay? And what you do, you stand up all the way and you stand up still like this, straight up, and you put your hands on your head. You put your hands on your head and then you bend all the way down. So you start with your knees, you bend your knees first and then you kneel on the ground and then you put your hand to the floor, so all the way down to the ground. And then you get up, and then you stand up, and then you say, 새해 복 많이 받으세요. So should we try it all together? One more time, stand up still. Let me tilt up my camera a little bit so everyone can see me. So you stand up still like this, hands on your head. Could we do hands on our head? And then, we kneel, we start to put our knees on the ground, and then all the way on the ground, all the way touching the floor with your hands. And then you get back up, and you stand up, and then you say, 새해 복 많이 받으세요. Wow, good job everyone, good job. So make sure you grab any older person. It could, be, it could be your mom, your dad, it can be a neighbor, it can be an older friend, and you say it to them. And hopefully they will give you a little say don, which is a little bit of uh, pocket money that you get to put in your little, your pokjumoni like this, right? Where you put your say don in here. So I have a song that we made on Uri Show that will teach you how to practice how to sebe. So let's listen to that and then we get to practice a little bit more and you guys can do sebe to lots of people today because it's Salal, okay? Let's watch the video together. Put your hands on your head, sebe he. Bend your knees and come on down, sebe he. Take a big giant bow as you bless everyone. Put your hands on your head, sebe he. 
우리 모두 다 같이 세배해 우리 모두 다 같이 세배해 우리 모두 다 같이 한복 입고 노래해 우리 모두 다 같이 세배해 Put your hands on your head 세배해 Bend your knees and come on down 세배해 Take a big giant bow as you bless everyone Put your hands on your head 세배해 우리 모두 다 같이 세배해 우리 모두 다 같이 세배해 우리 모두 다 같이 한복 입고 노래해 우리 모두 다 같이 세배해 Yay! Hey, how about we all 세배 to each other? Can you, can everyone at home 세배 to me? And give me lots of blessings because I want all the blessings. Give me all the blessings. And I will say it to you and give you lots of blessings. How about that? Should we try that together? Should we everyone get up one more time? And should we all say it to each other? Okay, put your hands on your head. Come on down to your knees and do the big giant bow. 세배하고 다시 일어나고 그 다음에 새해 복 많이 받으세요. 와우 우리 친구들 Many blessings to you. I hope you guys have a wonderful year of the tiger full of blessings, full of joy, full of happiness, full of laughter and full of love. So 새해 복 많이 받으세요 친구들. Okay, and thank you for the blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here, 세뱃돈. 세뱃돈 여기 있어. 떡국 is a real comfort food. What is comfort food? It's food that makes you oh, feel comforted. So whenever you feel sad or you feel upset or especially when it's cold outside, I love to eat comfort food that warms you. It warms your mouth and it warms your stomach and it warms your heart. So comfort food is very wonderful. And during Seollal, we get to eat a very special Korean comfort food called tteokguk. Tteok means rice cake and guk is soup. So it's rice cake soup. <laughs> and Helena told us this, but it is very important to eat tteokguk during Seollal because they say that you do not age a year if you don't eat tteokguk. <laughs> so if you want to age another year and get older, you have to eat tteokguk, okay? So I know that many of our friends at home received a packet of tteok, right? These are tteok, so this is kare tteok. So tteok like this, it's actually long tubes of it and you slice it up and you slice it into these little coins and they look like coins, so it's supposed to represent good fortune for the year. Uh, so we have the duck and then the ever important soup. So I know that you got one of these different kinds. I'm going to use this beef bone broth today, but we also have a seollongtang broth. And so what I did was I got a little adorable pot <laughs> and I heated up the soup. I heated up the soup and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it come to a boil as I'm here with you. So all of you at home, Dukguk is can be made many different ways. So some people use uh, fish broth. It's called like with tashima and anchovies. I like to do that um, and have a very clean kind of simple broth. But you can also use beef broth or you can use chicken broth. So there's lots of variations. But there's always a few key ingredients. There's soup and then there's rice cakes. <laughs> and then a lot of people like to add dumplings. So Korean dumplings are called mandu, and it's one of my favorite things to eat. I can eat like 100 mandu. <laughs> oh, my water is boiling. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this down. My soup, my soup is boiling. I don't know if you can see, oh, you can see it. Yeah, it's boiling. So what I'm gonna do, I'll turn it down a little bit, and then I'm going to add my dog. All right, so if you're making this at home, should probably have a grown-up help you, unless you guys are older <laughs> and you can do it yourself. So you add, drop in the dog, dog into the cook. You put it in like that. And it needs about four to five minutes. 
So you can usually tell because they kind of start floating to the top of the of the of the pot. So that's when you know they're all done. And dokuk is so amazing because it doesn't have a lot of flavor, but the texture on your teeth and in your mouth, oh, it's so good. I could eat so much dokuk. I, I usually age about five years because <laughs> every bowl you eat, you age another year. I get like five or six years older every year because I love dokuk so much. And dokuk is, like we said, it's traditionally eaten on seollal, but you can eat it any time of year. So if you go to Korean restaurants or you go to someone's home, they might be eating dokuk in the middle of summer. You, you never know. Dokuk is so delicious. Okay, so everyone received their dok and you got your broth and mine just needs a few more minutes. So yes, the white color represents purity and starting anew. So a lot of cultures, sometimes they make a fire or they burn certain things. It symbolizes um, a, a renewal and a clean start. And the whiteness of the dok represents a clean slate. So all of those bad things from last year, you leave it behind, okay? So hopefully this in, in the new year, in the year of the rrr, tiger, hopefully we'll be, all of us will be healthier and maybe we can spend more time together, I wish. That's my hope. That's my wish and my hope for the new year, for Seollal. My new year's Seollal wish is for all of our friends to see each other more because I know we were apart for so long. Okay, dokugi. <gasps> So what you also want to do to this at the very end, so I think this is about ready. So I'm going to turn the heat off. What you want to do is add a little bit of salt. So traditionally you use soy sauce, but I know not of all of our friends at home have soy sauce. So what you do is you, you pinch, you, you have a few pinches of salt. And what I'm going to do is add a little duck. I forgot to bring a ladle over. So I'm just going to pour it into into my bowl here and I'm gonna add a little bit of the broth hot to go that is hot <laughs> to go away to go away oh yeah I'll just add the broth like this that is hot pot that is a hot pot okay ah basketa and my favorite part of dakuk is the garnish. So garnish is anything you put on top of the tteokguk and it makes it extra special. You can eat it just like this. So you have nothing else at home. You can have wonderful tteokguk just like this, but I'm going to add keran, some egg. It's basically like a flat scrambled egg and I chopped it up into little strips. They're called match matchstick strips like this. I'm gonna add some egg, keranirang, 그리고 Kim, roasted seaweed, my favorite. My kids love to eat kim with pop. Do you guys like to eat that too? Oh, it's the best, right? Okay, 이제 같이 먹어봅시다. Should we try it? Uh, so what do you say before you eat? You always have to say, 잘 먹겠습니다, right? That means I will enjoy this food. And you're blessing the cook as well. So you're saying, thank you. Please make me more tteokguk, please. <laughs> 그래서 잘 먹겠습니다 하고 우리 떡국 같이 먹어봅시다. Should we all age together? Three, two, one. Oh, I'm gonna get older now. Mmm. 너무 맛있어. So delicious. Like I said, the texture of the rice cake, it's like nothing else. In the whole world. Maybe some pastas are like that, but nothing compares to, to rice cake, rice cake soup. Okay, 여러분, I hope all of our Uri friends at home can try making dakuk today and you get to have a bite and since there's not a lot, maybe you can have let all your other family members try a bite too. So you can all age together. You can all get one year older as you eat dakuk. Okay, everyone. So I don't know how much time we have left, but I was so happy to spend this very special holiday with you. Like I said, in Korea and in, with Korean American communities in America, I would say Chuseok, which is uh, the harvest festival in the fall, is the other big holiday. And then Seollal, so Lunar New Year. Those are the two big ones. And then, you know, there's Dol, there's like when you turn one year old and things like that. But those are the two big holidays. So I am so happy that you guys 
got to spend her life with me and I get to spend her life with you. <laughs> Wonderful. And maybe next year we can all spend her life together in real life, right? All together in the same room. That would be really special. So thank you so much. It was so wonderful spending this time with you. I'm sad. I want to keep going. I don't want to stop. <laughs> I wish we could keep celebrating s o l a together and eat lots of rice cake soup. Um, so hopefully I'll see you all next year. And 새해 복 많이 받으세요, 친구들. Mwah! 안녕. Subscribe to our YouTube page today.